Okay, our next circuit is going to be a series of squats on the floor, chest press, and pullover crunch. So squats on the floor can be very slow. You can move it fast. You can add a plyometric, so you can do 45 seconds of jumps if you want. You could also take one leg out, one leg in, and just focus more on one-legged squats, or one leg really doing all the work and then switching halfway through. So be comfortable with changing where you need to be for the squats. If this is easy, intensity matters. That's what makes the results and what makes intensity plus short duration effective. So then we're going to move over, grab our arm pulleys, sit at the top one third edge of the glide board. Now your feet can be on the floor. I'm going to pull my arms through, cable's going to run underneath, and I'm going to go into chest press. Now if this is hard, feet on the ground. If this is easy, I can come with both legs up. I can also add a little bit of a lift of the leg if I want to add a little bit more coordination or more core focus even. So super slow or go at your pace. I then straddle, pull the board up, I lie back, and I go right into pullover crunch. So from here, it's always easier to start at your mid thighs. If you're used to doing this exercise, you might just go right into the pullover, starting with your arms overhead. Now from, you wanna lift your head up as you pull over. To make it more intense, arms go back, head stays up, head goes down. Head comes up, then you add the pullover. Arms start to float back, and then you go back down. That's gonna make it more intense. How to make it even more intense, legs up, how to make it even more intense, legs out. And if you want to get the little Pilates curl in me going, you can also do a little bit of a roll up. So your choice, squats, chest press, pull over, crunch. See you on circuit three.